2022 can be the year defined as the roller coaster for the Woods and Forests Media YouTube channel. We rose to new heights getting featured in the newspaper and on the local news, but we also suffered such agonizing defeat. I'm sorry to report, Woods and Forest community, that the dearly beloved gray tree frog Bane suffered a bacterial infection earlier this spring and he ended up passing away. Not only was that tragic on its own, but then Dante developed the same bacterial infection and we thought that it was going to be his demise as well. He was going to be out in the yard. I thought I was going to have to purchase another memorial to place Dante in, but ever so slightly, day by day Dante was showing his resiliency. We finally were able to get Dante the help that he needed with the vet. There were some serious battles that were fought, whether he should be put down or we should give him another chance. Thankfully, I still saw the fight left in Dante, and I chose to support him and get him whatever he needed from the vet. As you can see, his right eye did become infected with the bacterial infection, and he does have some cloudiness in his eye. That might never go away. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to report that Dante is still with us and he's still thriving. We finally, after about six or seven months, around the time of Thanksgiving, got the chance to put Dante back in with the Grey Army. And we were able to showcase a lot of this through our Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. It was such an amazing feeling getting a chance to see Dante back with the Grey Army back with the females who had not developed the bacterial infection and back home in a very large enclosure. Woods and Forest Community, this is by far my favorite clip of Dante because it shows the trust that he has and the relationship that we've developed because when I first got Dante, he wanted nothing to do with me. He was a very small frog and he was afraid. However, through all the tender love and care and the support that I gave him day in and day out from the spring the whole way through now near Christmas time, you can see how much more he trusts me. That was one of my favorite clips and we finally had the chance to showcase Dante living a daily life, a regular life, back to the way that it should be for a normal gray tree frog. And while this situation was a real challenge and it was a serious testimony to how tough this little frog is, we had some really epic things we had planned for the future. The original members of the PA Woods and Forest community at the time can remember a lot of swarms battles where we would place as many feeder insects inside the enclosure as possible and allow the frogs to have a buffet style meal. This was on a smaller scale, what we chose to do whenever we introduced Dante back into the Grey Army, into the enclosure. As you could see, Melania and Meredith were enjoying the time as well. If you keep frogs and toads, you're going to want to watch Season 3 of Wild Vivariums because we're going to talk about essential things that all keepers need to know, like how to treat for parasites, what to give your animals feeders so that way they're gut loaded and nutritious, how to integrate smart technology like misting systems and smart cameras in the works. We're going to showcase daily feedings and we're going to have swarms battles and we're also going to showcase shorts and many things centered around the lives of all of these animals. So you're going to want to make sure that you stay tuned for all the Wild Vivariums content. From all of the shorts and Instagram reels that I've made hand feeding these animals, it still cracks me up sometimes whenever they choose not to eat from my hand. I like to do this to build trust with the animals, but also to make sure that they're getting something to eat. I do make sure that they hunt all throughout the enclosure. Allowing these animals to hunt also gives them the chance to work off any extra weight so that way they don't become obese. That's a very important part in keeping these animals that they don't become content and complacent and start to gain weight because a heavier gray tree frog is going to have a hard time trying to survive. You can expect this kind of action in the swarms battles as they're set to return in 2023.
I'm sure many of you watching this are wondering whether or not Dante can see out of that eye that's cloudy, and the answer is yes he can. I'm not sure how much vision he has, but I'm aware that he's able to see. He's able to use that eye to catch insects, and he's also able to use that eye to judge whenever he leaps and jumps throughout the enclosure. There's not a scene in here that touches me more than actually watching Dante plan out how he's going to leap across the enclosure. This is one of the most exciting scenes for me because the whole goal of this year was fighting to try and save Dante's eyes because they're the most valuable asset to a frog, especially a tree frog. They have to make all these judgments as to how they're going to leap onto a tree branch, a tree trunk, from tree to tree, from leaf to leaf, and so on. So it was truly inspiring to see. And Dante's story should be an encouragement, no matter how things look, no matter how bad things they get, to keep going and to show that resiliency. And finally, after a long fight, you can have rest and peace. I can't wait to film the next story for you guys for the Wild Vivarium Show. But until then, please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one for more content. Thanks.